Hi everyone, so I'm back with some great off-campus opportunities. So in this video, we have not one, not two, but five different internship opportunities that are live right now. And these are the opportunities where you have a good chance of getting shortlisted because as you guys can see, the number of applicants is very much lesser compared to other companies where you have tens and thousands of applicants and sometimes even lakhs of applicants. So you'll have a great chance of getting shortlisted here. In fact, many students have come to me after watching similar videos of mine and told me that they were able to get shortlisted and they were even able to clear the interviews and get an offer letter. So all of these are great opportunities. I'll give a link to all of them in the description box. You can apply to them from there. So the first one we have is a data analyst internship and there's only one day left for this. So make sure that you apply to this one right away. And a lot of you guys have been asking for data related opportunities. So here you go. This is a data analyst internship. And again, there's only one day left. So make sure that you apply it in time. If you take a look at the requirements or the responsibilities, then it is basic, just, you know, basic data analysis skills. Nothing too complex is written. You have basic Excel, good with number, calculation, SQL, Power BI, Python. And in that too, training support is going to be provided, right? So this is a great, great, great opportunity for all of you guys that want to go into the field of data. And the number of openings compared to the number of applicants is also a very good ratio. So you'll have a good chance. And the best part is that there's no experience needed and freshers from any stream are welcome. So it doesn't matter if you're an art student, commerce student, science student, engineering student, you are eligible for this. Okay, any background, you can apply for this. Again, the link will be in the description box. Make sure to apply for this in time. Now, next up, we have a full stack developer internship. Again, you can see that the number of applicants here is also significantly lesser. And there are just basic requirements, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and basic API management, basic web dev skills sort of they are asking for. Okay, and this is going to be a five month duration. They have not mentioned the stipend, but it is a paid internship. The work model for this is going to be hybrid. The previous one was work from home. Okay, this is a hybrid model. Okay, so this is again a great opportunity. You guys can apply for this. And there's one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about because I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube where people bring opportunities where you have to pay. So never ever go for any opportunity where you have to be the one paying for the interview or for the opportunity, never ever get into that, okay? Whenever a company is asking you to pay, make sure that you understand it is a red flag, okay? Any company, if they're asking you to pay, you should not be doing that, it is a red flag. I've, I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers make videos about such openings, trust me, they're not good, don't go after them, you know, you don't need to pay anyone for getting a certificate or, you know, for getting an interview opportunity, right? So just to make that clear, keep that in mind, all right? Next up, we have a DevOps internship. So this is a great, great opportunity for all of you guys that want to go into DevOps field. This is going to be in office and this is in Bangalore location. Number of applicants again here is very, very lesser, right? So of course, 144 is barely anything. And even in the skills, it's just basics of DevOps is written, AWS Azure or, you know, cloud basics, CICD pipeline, Docker Kubernetes, basic scripting, just basic information has been given. So if you're someone who's pursuing a bachelor's degree in CS or BSc CS or BCA, then definitely you can apply for this. Again, it's an office and the stipend is going to be 15 to 20K per month. Okay. So again, a great internship opportunity. You can check it out. Now, next up, we have a React.js developer internship. So this is with Softies. And again, there's one month left for this. So you have a little bit of time, but try to apply right away. Otherwise, you may forget it later on. And of course, applying early will always give you a little bit of advantage, okay? So of course, this is a React-based internship. So you do need knowledge of React. You do need knowledge of, you know, sort of basic JavaScript-based web development. And again, if you're a college student, you know, first year, second year, third year, any year, you want to get an internship, you can apply for this. Now, this is going to be in Pune-based location, but it is work from home. So of course, you don't need to go to the office, but the office location is in Pune. The work mode is work from home. Stipend is 8 to 12K per month, which is again pretty decent. All right, moving on. Next up, we have a software developer internship, which is with tech ahead. So again, the number of applicants here is 529, which is not that much. So here they're looking for a .NET Core developer intern. So if you're someone who's into .NET, C Sharp or related framework, again, you can definitely go for it. Along with that, you need knowledge of RESTful APIs, microservices, SQL Server, PostgreSQL, you can basically check it out. And again, if you're someone who's pursuing a bachelor's degree or a master's degree in CSIT or related field, you can apply for this, okay? And other things you can check it out. This is again going to be in office. The location is going to be six months of uh, duration. 
and the stipend is not mentioned but again if you're someone who is proficient with dotnet or want to go into dotnet related field this is a great internship opportunity for you okay so these are the internship opportunities that i had for you today make sure that you apply to the one that suits you best and of course internships are going to be of great help to you they're going to be great in your career it's going to be great for your learning and of course you'll have something to put in your resume so you can apply to whichever one suits you the link for all of them are going to be in the description box and let me know if you guys want more videos where i sort of combine all of the opportunities in one video and let me know what you guys think of this one and let's see you guys in the next video